Mesozoic time. In those days, the laws of the wild were very cruel. If you did not have time to eat someone, then they will eat you. We will return to the Mesozoic era. Let's take a look early. This is a Melosaurus, a distant relative of crocodile, one of the first amphibians, thrived around lakes, rivers and swamps. About 3 meters long, he survived by hunting small reptile. His foot was such ancient reptilimals as Discosaurus. Of course, some will ask in the Melosaurus, then it means that it attacked and did not defend itself. The answer is obvious. The hunting of such crocodile moths was the main protection of these inhabitants. Protection from hunger, protection of their offspring, and general protection from extinction. If you haven't eaten today, it means what you are weak and tomorrow your relatives will eat you. Discosauricus, unlike its eternal perso, have elementary and primitive methods of protection. This color helps to disguise itself the all sorts of vegetation. A small growth helps to climb into safe places where the predator will not reach you and, of course, a mobility which is in excellent disguise from the enemy. And this is Ainos transevia, a predatory Garganops that lived on the territory of modern Russia in the permanent period about 260 million ago. Ainas transevia had a body length of 3.5 mm and strongly developed hands, reaching up to 15 cm in the upjaw. The teeth of Ainas transevia can change throughout life, like those of sharks or crocodiles. A new tooth grew under the canine, and the old one fell out easily. The existing design of the jaw allowed the predator, like scissors, to cut large pieces out of the carcass. Scatosaurus is main food of all the Garganops, but taming nature also took care of protection for these herbivores. Scatosaurus were large animals, the total length could reach 3.5 meters. These parareptiles had a stocky body, protected from predators by a shell. The neck shield and shell on the head made is difficult for predators to attack, which lost many teeth and fans trying to buy through the herbivore's armor. Most likely, there were cases when predators, especially young O on the contrary, too old and its leaves crushed by the huge, massive body as the scatosaurs. This Elraptor is one of the most ancient small carnivores, dinosaurs from Argentina, who lived 28 million years ago. This ancestor of dinosaurs used his main weapon in visibility and speed. Although he fed on insects, he could also hunt a lizard of his own weight. Sometimes the Elraptor pursued prey more than itself, but it was not possible to defeat or cause any harm to the predator. Nature did not give him ever powerful fangs or huge growth, but instead endowed him with the most important weapon, a social society. Yes, Elraptor hunted in a pack, which radically changed the tactics of hunting. In ants or bees at attack a person a huge numbers, Aeoraptors also adhered to the same tactics. Even the big lizard couldn't do anything in such a situation, but they still tried to fight back. Sometimes they managed to escape without consequences. Sometimes they attacked the Aeoraptor in response and then later had to retreat. Then this can't and sadly for the person himself. We will fly into the Jurassic Ocean. This is the Plesiosaur. Plesiosaur in consider of medium sized member of the family which can grow up to 3.5 meters in length. The neck of the lizard consisted of 30 vertebrae. It was a carnivorous dinosaur will adapt to life in beds of water, although it had to come up to the surface to breathe air. Plesiosaurs appeared in the seas from the beginning of the Jurassic and existed until the end of the Cretaceous. The neck of the most recent Cretaceous, Plesiosaurs with unusually long occupying more than a third of the 18 meter body and consisted of 74-80 cervical vertebrae. In short, 
short neck plesiosaurs, a huge head sent of motionless neck of 13, 28 fuse vertebrae, and some specimens up to 3. Point meters long. Plesiosaurs were predators, long neck forms cut prey by Yemen with the head of the flexible neck, short necked, attacked larger prey, Russian ate it with the whole body. They ate fish and cephalopods. Stones are often found at the location of, the, of their stomachs, with which they rub prey in the stomach, since the sharp narrow teeth were not adapted for chewing. It is not known whether plesiosaurs could crawl anti, so they see short like turtles to lay their eggs of if they were viperous forms. This debate has been going up for 200 years, but if they were hunting fish that were practically defenseless, who was their rival? These species devoured and each other when mating or when defending territories and this were their existence. Cannibalism was its norm in many animal species of the Mesozoic air. If you are big and strong, then this does not mean what you are most important. You can be eaten by your next of kin. Another representative of the Jurassic period, Ichthyosaurus, the dolphin-like appearance of the Ichthyosaurus. It's a familiar to us from many images, but the similarity of Ichthyosaurus with dolphin is an example of convergent evolution. Its streamlined body was ideal for first water hunting. Moving forward was carried out with the help of a shark tail, fair, Stabilization the animal used the dorsal and pectoral fins. Like other representatives of the order, the ichthyosaur was distinguished by large eyes and long jaws with sharp teeth. Ichthyosaurs were medium-sized marine reptiles, about 3.3 meters or 11 feet long. The jaws of ichthyosaurs fish lizards the curved, big-shaped and cut water like a knife. They were armed with two rows of teeth, which even such slippery prey as cephalopods, similar to modern octopuses, can not avoid meeting. The ichthyosaur sulled its prey hole or tore it into pieces, sharply shaking its head from side to side. If the digestive organs of ichthyosaurs, remains of fish bones were found, softened by digestive juices to a pasty state. Scientists became aware of the fact that by nature they were cannibals. The older generation could eat their younger relative. Carcasses of related species were found as one of the remains in the stomachs of an adult. But the ichthyosaurs had an enemy. Romaliosaurs is a plesiosaur that lived in the Jurassic period in Great Britain about 183-175 million years ago. These formidable marine predators were huge in size and they were endowed with muscular jaws they could tear apart an average ichthyosaur in just a few movements. The most important predator of the Tyrannosaurus had a whole arsenal of hunted quality. The sense of smell, which which the lizard felt prey, at a distance of several kilometers. Huge growth and incredible strength of the jaws allowed this monster to dominate almost all predators of the Cretaceous era. The speed of movement is sufficient to catch up with its prey. A real hunter of this choice is prey by the teeth. A counterweight to it was a huge herbivore, by the way, the T-Rex favorite dish. Triceratops, a multi ton monster that peacefully ate vegetation, often boldly defended itself from T Rex attacks because he had such defensive capabilities. This and several sharp horns located of the head and a thick shell color covering weak spots and a huge force capable of resisting the enemy. 
it was not difficult for T-Rex to kill Triceratops, but sometimes quite strong individuals came across with which the predator had to mess around and sometimes receive mortal wounds from the victim. But in my opinion, for the hunter, risk was a favorite scene, and this confrontation lasted several million years. Ankylosaurus was a herbivorous dinosaur that could only be attacked by every serious opponent. It had very strong armor all over its body, which even a Tyrannosaurus had not fully bite through. In addition, the herbivorous lizard had a formidable weapon against attackers, a tail club. This club could crush the bones of any dinosaur. Despite the fact that the Ankylosaurus lost to most predators in size, it was low above the ground, which actually gave the herbivorous dinosaur several advantages. Theropods had to bend down to bite, and this gave the Ankylosaurus the time it needed to strike with its tail. In addition, it would be very difficult for a theropod to stoop low enough to target an Ankylosaurus. Vulnerable spots the leg, neck and belly, and all other parts of the body were reliably protected from the bite of a predator. No less formidable and very deadly weapon we possessed by another type if herbivore the Stegosaurus, huge in size and with a combat tip, and its tail the Stegosaurus could strike and its pursers incapable with life, which made it possible for of herbivores to survive. But Velociraptors and Deinonychus, in addition to speed collective hunting, an excellent sense of smell, had in their arsenal a real deadly weapon razor sharp, close on their paws. With their claws, they literally cut through the body of the victim, which was several times larger than the raptor. The victim was simply dying fray blood lost in her purses, could only enjoy dinner. Thank you for watching this episode to the end. Put your finger up and leave comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also hit the bell so the night to miss to end interesting releases from the Real Unreal channel.